uh, economies in Asia are definitely moving forward. Um, at the moment, be the fastest growing region uh, in the rest of the world. Uh, how is this affecting staff retention? Uh, when you've got an active recruitment market, um, basically everyone's looking for the same type of candidates, uh, which means if you're a strong candidate in any organisation, you're probably getting headhunt calls on a weekly basis at the moment, which obviously is making it quite difficult for companies to retain their staff. So that's sort of how it's affecting it um, from a staff retention point of view. So I think firms just have to be on their toes and make sure they're keeping in constant contact uh, with their high achievers to make sure that From a recruitment happy. perspective, I, mean, I don't think uh, recruitment solutions have changed that much. Um, I think firms are using recruitment consultants more now, recruitment companies more these days, um, because that's the specialist area that we focus in. Uh, they're still using job boards. Um, they're using internal referrals a lot at the moment because that also obviously saves costs. The difference we have seen is that more and more companies, uh, international companies especially, are looking for candidates from the overseas market with specialist skill sets to move to Hong Kong. I'm a firm believer in internal referrals because I do believe that it makes a transition period for anyone starting in a company a lot easier if they already know someone in the organisation. And I also think if someone is working in that organisation, they only want to refer someone who they feel is going to be successful. Because they're not, it makes them look bad to the person they referred, it doesn't make them look too good to their boss either. My view on the European economic crisis, for instance, if that does create a double dip recession in the world again, um, will that affect Asia significantly? I, I believe not. Um, and the reason for this is I, I, Asia's export market is just so strong at the moment. In fact, the first half of this year, Asia's exports rose by 43% uh, year on year. The good news with regards to this figure is that a lot of this demand actually came from within Asia. So we weren't relying on Europe, we weren't relying on the US. And within inside Asia, where this was coming from was China and Southeast Asia. So as long as we continue to spend in the Asian uh, markets, I think we'll be able to withstand a double dip recession, although it still will affect us slightly. The, the, the markets or the, uh, the sectors that will probably be most affected by it would be financial services because they're so geared to what the other banks are doing or to what banks are doing in both the UK um, or Europe, sorry, and the United States. The biggest issue we're facing at the moment is that strong candidates are getting multiple offers at any one time. So my advice to any hiring manager at the moment is if you locate the candidate that you want to hire, make the offer as quickly as you possibly can. The longer the recruitment process is drawn out, the more likely they are to be getting other offers from other organisations, which means there is a much more likely chance that you won't get this person on board. Secondly, when you are interviewing these candidates, just make sure that you obviously are selling the position, uh, you're selling a career path and obviously you are selling the stability of an organisation because I believe besides from money, stability and a career path is what candidates are looking for in the current market. I'll go back to my previous point when I spoke about money, career path and stability. I think they're the three main areas of focus. If you want to attract or retain someone, you've got to be paying better than market rate. Um, if you want to attract or retain someone, you've got to talk about some type of career path. I mean, a lot of employees have not moved up in the last two years because of the economic crisis. A lot of employees are ready to make that transition now. So either you talk about that with them internally in order to retain them, or if you are looking to obviously attract other candidates, you create opportunities for them externally. And thirdly, stability um, is, is so important because, as I said before, 2009 is so fresh in the back of people's minds. You need to prove uh, that what you are offering is a stable work environment and that your organisation is going to be around for years to come. What happened during the crisis made people think about their titles, um, especially when they've come back into the marketplace and they're looking for jobs now. I think people who demanded high titles and are now looking to take on roles uh, with lesser titles, sometimes employers are a little bit funny about taking them on. So titles certainly still are important, but I still feel um, that money, stability and career path is probably more important.